Turkey's Hotel Andalus is one of the top boutique hotels in the nation, according to the Boutique and Lifestyle Lodging Association. And that's a lot said, right? It is the ideal staycation and it is a destination that everyone should go to because I'll tell you, what, right? Isn't it amazing? It is. It is absolutely amazing. The lobby itself. I always say that. The, the lobby place. itself. <laughs> and Michael. <laughs> yeah. And Michael von Blomberg is back. He is the executive chef at Hotel Andalus. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's fun having you on New Mexico style. Last time we talked a little bit more about the veggies. But uh -huh. today we're going to be a little, a little bad. What are we doing today? Well, today we're going to talk about uh, one of the new items that we're, we're designing a new uh, brunch menu. Yes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some specials the next couple of Sundays and kind of presenting a few of these items out there. And uh, we're going to have this plated brunch coming up. And one of the new items is uh, orange blossom French toast mm. or pan perdu, wow. which is French for lost bread. That's and sad. the idea is you take this. you take lost in your tummy? Well, you take... <laughs> <laughs> you take the, the day-old bread from, that you didn't use from before and then uh -huh. you turn it into something special. And so you take uh, like your brioche bread mm -hmm. and then you um, dip it in what I do is a creme anglaise. Okay. Um, as opposed to just a typical French toast batter. Oh, I love um, that. So it doesn't go to waste. Right, exactly. That's and so great. it's a real egg-rich batter. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in this case, we're going to do orange blossom water, which I added to the mm -hmm. creme anglaise. So creme anglaise, real basic, simple recipe. I've never um, seen that. Four you know, ingredients. Before you actually get to this specifics of sure. the ingredients. I want to ask you real quick regarding the hotel itself. You know, you do this new brunch program. Is there going to be music in the lobby as well? Because we that's have, such a great part of it. We're the now hotel. doing music uh, six nights a week. Okay. Um, so we're doing live uh, music. Live music. Ooh, so we're doing like better. a manic uh, Mondays, 80s. We're doing a shake it up Tuesday, <laughs> uh, mash it up Wednesday. You know, we're doing like this theme, uh, you know, simply jazz on, Ooh, on Thursdays, nice. um, you know, breakdown Friday, that kind of stuff. So I am um, there for so 80s. So the night. lobby you mentioned the lobby and we're really trying to to showcase the lobby and, and bring in, tie in the music with all of that and with the food venues yeah That's if you it. haven't had a chance um, to go to hotel Andalus, please do so you will not be disappointed yeah and the rooftop as well I mean yes. but but the restaurant itself what's also really cool is that you know we're always in a hurry at lunchtime but at Lucia I, I said Lucia but some people say Lucia what's the Lucia. proper way Lucia. Lucia I say it in the Italian way eh, either, <laughs> okay. eh, whatever. either way it's a very good place to eat now people on the go can eat lunch in 30 minutes can't they We have a 30 minute menu you. Um, Isn't that great? Wow, and uh, cool. usually it's a little faster than that, but uh, that's like the time limit that we give ourselves. And so what it is is a designed um, uh, menu that's a little bit smaller portions okay. um, that we can do really quickly. For can you really guarantee guests. 30 minutes? Yes, or? we can. Oh, yeah. Wow. And I so like that, that way, if you're on the go or if you're working downtown, you can eat real quickly and, and go. You heard it here, guys. That. Guaranteed so. 30 minutes. <laughs> I think we have to do that Hold for lunch. Hold me to it. That's good. <laughs> We're always pressed for time. So. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's get to cooking okay. because I want I want you to explain these ingredients. All right, it's so, so, so uh, basic creme anglaise is mm -hmm. just going to be um, egg yolks is what you generally start with. Oh, like um, lucky. And um, then what you want to do is you want to scald your cream. What does and scald kind of, your cream mean? Well, you want to bring it, you want to temper it basically with your egg yolks. Okay. But you want to not boil it. So, oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, and I have pre-measured some of these ingredients, so um, just so you know. What kind of cream nice. is this? And this is just heavy cream. Okay. Okay. Um, and so the idea there is um, you add those two ingredients mm -hmm. and you kind of blend them together so you don't want to cook the egg yolks. So that's why I kind of oh. did that quickly. You don't want it to turn um, into like an omelet. Right, exactly. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to like scrambled eggs in there. Oh, interesting. Um, yes. And then you have your sugar, which is going to sweeten it up a little bit. Awesome. Um, and then um, you also have fresh uh, vanilla bean. Oh. Which kind of adds that extra it's element to it. It's a real one, huh? And so <laughs> <laughs> it's not vanilla extract, which is totally a different uh, flavor that you're going to get from it. Nice. And so you just kind of cut it in half. Okay. And then you scrape the side of it. And then you get all that fresh mm. You make that look so easy. You really do. Just so you add that into it. And Maybe then in this case, um, we're adding uh, orange blossom water, um, which can is an extract. Can you buy that You can buy it at a specialty we're store. Okay. Um, a lot of uh, international food stores in town will orange have it. Orange blossom um, water. Um, okay. In fact, Tallinn here in town will carry it. Okay. Um, it smells really good. And you can it smell really that, right? Does. It's a different yeah, flavor. Right away, it's not yeah. orange flavor. It's like a little bit different than yeah. it's like the blossom or like a very aromatic flavor. Definitely. And so that's how you kind of make your basic creme on glaze batter. Okay. Um, so you don't, wow. again, you don't want to scald it or you want to scald it so you don't want to boil it. So, Got it. Scalding, um, not you just boiling. Keep it, yeah. So you just keep that going. So that's okay. kind of how do you, you would do that. Do you want me to whisk it? <gasps> Whoa, Whoa, careful. Do you want me to whisk it with my scarf? <laughs> Use your scarf. <laughs> so that's how you would do that. So I pre-made um, some of the batter here. Okay. That was good, right? Do you need a towel? Yeah, I'm good. There you go. Eh, whatever. I always have mis mishaps in the kitchen. That's just my life. Go ahead. I'm okay. pretty, <laughs> pretty good at this, actually. I'm discovering. 
scarf in the batter. Okay, go ahead. So, so, now so we I pre made some of that. So, okay. You said um, it's brioche bread? It's brioche. So oh, it's an egg rich um, batter or uh, bread that's going to have like a really strong flavor to it. Um, I like challah. Hello. Exactly. Very similar really? to challah. Okay. Best French toast. Um, like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so then you just get a little bit of butter in your pan, and then you just kind of get that mm -hmm. going. Oh my God! It really smells like my Gigi's house at breakfast time. And I also heard that you mentioned uh, earlier. I heard you say um, lox and bagel. That's yeah. another item that we're going to be doing. Oh good. On lox our menu. Nice. That's so awesome. So you have a place to go in town for that. Yay. So we'll have that uh, this Sunday on our special. So too. how long do you leave it on one side versus the other? Yeah, you just want to brown it up. It, okay. it really depends on the heat of the pan. But okay. I mean, um, I like it extra this, crispy. Yeah, you like it extra crispy. Yeah, so do I, so I'm going to let, let it go a minute. Um. And when, when we come back, you'll show us the finishing touches exactly. and we'll get to eat. That's the best part. Yum. And for a copy of this recipe, you can visit our website at casa.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> we are back with Mike from Hotel Andalus, and he has just made a delicious breakfast for us. Let's tell our viewers one more time what it is. So we got an orange blossom French toast or Pond Purdue oh. and uh, with an orange creme anglaise. Oh, my and, goodness. And uh, it's topped with a little bit of orange zest. And this is going to be on the new menu, the new brunch menu, over at Lucia. It looks Correct. beautiful. And we are going for it. You're going in, I like it. <laughs> I'm excited. And I want to thank all of today's guests so much. And actually, thank you to all this week's guests. We had a wonderful time, as we always do, and we appreciate our viewers so very much. And I hope that all of you out there, if you care about me at all, will be rooting for the Giants on Two Casa Fox at 4 uh -huh. o'clock on <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't miss Idol after the Giants game on Sunday as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good two weekend. Two favorite things, the Giants and American Idol. And, and two now, of Fox. And French toast. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my wow. God. Michael. Michael Von Bromberg, master chef. French toast chef. <laughs> thank you so much. This is so good. My What's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite thing on the menu? That's my favorite thing for the brunch menu, for sure. Really? Oh my God. Well, I, I don't see blame why you. I chose that. All right, am I going to fight you for, the, for, all, for more bites? You'll lose. Oh, uh, maybe I will. Ooh, we've got a fantastic don't, don't make a mess. bagel, too. Have a great day, everybody. If there's anything you need to know about today and every show, go to our website at casa.com. Have a fabulous weekend. Happy Bye -bye. Friday. Oh, my God. This is